Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super fun design plan for us. I recently saw this photo of pretty famous drag queen Utica of just this like crown look that was just insane. So I was just really inspired by it and I have a ton of stuff that we can play with and I'm really excited. So let's get into it. So, I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. Y'all know I have a crazy amount of like gold pieces and gems. And then we'll do some stiletto tips. I have my line vision tips, which this sounds like a TV company. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I think it's hilarious. We should be all set to kind of get started. So I do need to size these out really quickly. I love these tips so much. I highly recommend them. I go through like phases of watching Drag Race. Okay, I do apologize that like I did cut my pinkies, so you might have to look at that. Even in my internet career, like <laughs> we still cut ourselves by accident with the drill. I got my tips sized out. I'm gonna put these on with the Five Angels base gel. I think this will be a good base gel just cause it's a little thinner and I find that to be easier to put like these on. I finally feel like comfortable when reviewing, like giving negative feedback. I don't know, in the beginning of like my YouTube channel, I couldn't quite tell like what a good product was and what a bad one was. But now that I can like compare stuff, I definitely have some like favorites. We got my tips and my gloves on. I want to very carefully buff the surface of these without like detaching them. So I am gonna use bronzer from McCart and I'm gonna cover all of my nails with this. This color itself is gonna get covered, but I think it's gonna make the underside really pretty. And then if it shows through, if it gets covered, it's just gonna add to it. And I am running out, which is a problem because this color is really pretty. I always, play with it too long and then it starts to flow. This particular gel, if you move it around a lot or add new blobs to it, it's gonna create like some lines, which can be cool. But if you don't want that, you'll just kind of want to be careful. You know, you're running out of poly gel when you fold the bottle 50 ways. These are looking really good. I feel like I did a really good job on just like getting that poly gel down. Of course, we do need to file and shape them. If I did do a good job, I won't have to do a lot of filing. For those who don't know, I love Panera and they just announced their um like getting rid of the charged lemonades and I'm finishing mine. I am so upset. Like, how are you gonna give America like a severe caffeine addiction and then just like disappear? But, but they're releasing some new stuff. So we'll see if it's as good. Doubt it. I do have these filed shaped and buffed and they're looking really good. So what we need to do next is actually put a top coat because we're gonna use some chrome powder. I have our Anacrylics top coat and I think that'll work really good. And then I have this gold and red chrome and the plan is to kind of just do like a little bit randomly. I wanna see if I can ombre it, but I've never tried that. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna try to do like red chrome down here and then gold chrome up here. Try to ombre them. We'll see what happens.
And I'm gonna try to just like blend it. Not entirely sure how it's gonna work. Note, for chrome powder, maybe put down a mat or something. We'll use the same base coat and just do a protective layer. These are looking so cool. So, <laughs> we're so zoomed out. All right, so we have a ton of gems that I wanna use, and if you haven't figured out, the theme is red and gold. I have our, it's, sorry, so zoomed out, our rhinestone glue gel from McCart. This stuff is amazing. I love doing gems, but like trying to do placements, like my neck, my head feels like it's gonna snap off. Let's first put on some rhinestone glue gel and we'll cover the whole nail. And I'm gonna try to do like a thin layer. I don't, I'm not gonna need a lot for this. So yeah, this is kind of the vibe we're going for. We are kind of just gonna continue this for the rest of the nails. I'll try to make them interesting and unique. I do really like how this gel kind of just keeps things in place as opposed to like some gels, like when you place gems down, they'll move around and that's annoying. Um, but this one doesn't really seem to have that problem. Oh, I think I might have forgotten to film that, but that's where we've gotten for our ring finger. One thing about doing gems like this is eventually everything just starts to get sticky. Oh, these are looking crazy. So we're getting towards the end here. And one thing that really like captivated me about this look was that everything had these like little red balls, like jester hat balls on the end of everything. So I think that's what we'll do for the end of these nails, which is gonna be so weird. So I have some solid builder gel, which is a red and we'll cover it with the same red chrome. Kind of shape these. I might have to touch it. I'm so sorry. I know I shouldn't be. If I can avoid it. Okay, I think I can roll it with my uh, gloves. I think that is looking good. It looks definitely is crazy. Again, I, I kind of need to touch it a little bit. I'm so sorry. We'll try to just make a very similar sized ball for each one. This is crazy. So I do wanna put some chrome on there. They're heavy, oh my God. So we'll use the same red. I do need to top coat these really quickly, just like very carefully, because we'll do a, a final top coat as well. And I don't wanna add a lot of thickness to these. All right, let's try to just chromify these. I almost feel like I could just like dip it in there. That might have been too much. <laughs> Let's do our final top coat. The small gems I am gonna go over, but the large gems I will not. There's a lot of parts. I really just wanna make sure things are just sealed as much as possible. 
There's just like so much surface area to cover on these. I'm like, <laughs> like using all of my top coat. Here is the finished look. These are crazy. Let me zoom in for you. Yeah, I feel like an evil jester, but these are fun. The balls, I'll probably hate them in like a day or so. If I can get these gloves off without like messing up the design, this is gonna be a problem. These turned out exactly how I wanted them. They definitely are heavy and the balls don't help. And I can't wait for these like to get caught and everything. But shout out to Utica for the inspiration for this look. Their drag is just like super cool. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.